I mean, our gold roster is able to get the victory, but speaking of victories, our green roster is taking on Illinois State University. Fab so jazzy and Shuffleverse taking on Cosmic, no mansion and G uh, CG, and just like that, it's going to be the first goal going over to Illinois State University as Cosmic finds a beautiful solo play and a nice touch there from no mansion gives Illinois State a very early lead. Let's hope that the gold team's confidence and momentum can carry on to the green team here as we're down one goal to start out. We've got Shuffle up front, we've got Cosmic getting it up, we got Shuffle and ja Fabzo up, Fabzo's up to get it, looking to make something here, almost close to the goal, Shuffle just to follow up and Shuffle's got the equalizing goal. Just like that Saints green team tie it up, beautiful play there from Fabso, gets around his defender and then CG caught in the pickle, just cannot get a touch on the ball, Shuffle gets the game tying goal, both teams with a goal in the first 40 seconds. Yeah, Illinois needed a little bit more composure there, a little bit more organization to defend against the Saints. But now we're coming on Illinois' side. Fabzo trying to make something happen there. Shuffle just getting beat out by Cosmic. Jazzy to follow up. And now, oh, Fabzo was just bumped and there. He makes a save. That's a goal. And that's a goal for Jazzy. Beautifully defended by Fabzo and then made a recovery to get Jazzy the goal. I mean, Illinois State have all three members on the same side and it's just a very easy save to a very easy goal for the Saints. Jazzy gonna be picking that one up. In a matter of a few seconds here, Saints green team take the lead. We're in a minute to the game and we've already got two goals on the side of Saints, winning so far. Now Jazzy to follow it up, hopefully make that three, but no mansion is coming up. Shuffle just to touch it. Cosmic is coming on round one. Fabzo just defends him out. Now CG, hopefully a flip reset, just over one, no mansion, almost there. Cosmic to bang it out. We're looking like there's a lot, not a lot of boost on the side of Illinois. And neither is St. Clair. There's a lot of boost use being used here to make these plays. I mean, you can see how fast-paced this game is. Nobody wants to give up a step. It's another full-court shot, but it's going to be saved out there by the side of Illinois State. But still, Shuffle looking for something. No mansion, though. Will take it around one. Takes it around the second. Jazzy, though, crucial defense there. Gets the stop. Has no boost, but trying to make something out of nothing here. He's going to look to get it to a teammate. There is Fabso, but Saints trying to reset here. They don't have too much, too much boost on their side. Illinois State will have possession of the ball. Jazzy just flying into the net there, hoping that the ball dropped in front of him, but wasn't the case, and now it's going to be Illinois State trying to push the attack. Absolutely, we're back on the side of the Saints. CJ is making a push here. It's CCG, no mention, trying to make something happen. Cosmic is up now on the side of Saints. We get past Jazzy. Jazzy just getting a the bump there. Shuffle up for the ball. Hopefully make something happen, but no mention there to get it out. Now Fabzo up. Maybe he can get another touch, but not before CG. Now Jazzy's back, he's got to make it up. Oh, and just getting bumped by CG, but now he's still good. No Mansion bringing it down for Cosmic. Shuffle back to No Mansion. Shuffle is coming up. CG, and we're seeing a lot of movement here and a lot of fast place gameplay from both teams. Yeah, after the few early goals, nothing found so far. That could have definitely been a goal for the Saints, but it is just off target there. Two minutes left, Saints have the lead. Trying to hold on here, but some insurance wouldn't hurt. Shot there comes out. CG finds a save yet again. Cosmic forced to save it out again. Anyone in the middle here for the Saints? No. Cosmic has an open net, but there's going to be a defender back just in time. Doesn't get that one on target. The follow up, though, is here for the side of Illinois State. But Saints get the clearance out. That was definitely one that Illinois State won back. A beautiful clear out to the deny no mansion. That double tap. And it was a short cut by Cosmic, but sadly he could not make it. But oh, now, oh, what a save. Just defended by. Oh. Fabzo, but Cosmic there for the follow-up. I mean, Illinois State have been putting on the pressure, and that was just a beautiful goal. Not much Fabso can do. Finds the save, but Cosmic is too good in that position. Finds the finish just like that. We have a tie game. Yep, we've got an equalized game. A minute 40 on the clock. Let's see what the Saints, let's see what Illinois can pull out here. Like Shuffleverse coming up for the follow. Touch, not too good. Jazzy, hopefully to get something there. Up to Fabzo. Fabzo's in the air, hopefully make something happen. Over one to Jazzy, just got blocked out. Now Shuffleverse bringing it into the corner, hopefully to get it out of their side. 
Yeah, no boost though, and CG gets in a dangerous position. Still a minute 15 left. Anybody's game at this point, no mansion. Tries to play some defense. There's Jazzy taking around one, trying to pass into the middle. The clearance isn't there in time, but it's just off the line for the Saints green team. They almost took the lead right there, but have to stay composed. One minute remaining. Can they find the game winning gold here? No mansion just goes for the bump there instead of the ball, knowing his team is behind there. Perhaps so he needs to get a crucial touch into the corner. Jazzy will be there in the corner. Takes around two defenders. It's going to be only CG has to find a touch here and does. Cosmic finds the demo to Pab, so that's going to give the Saints some time to reset here. Now Cosmic puts into the middle. Jazzy looking for the touch there. Cosmic will go over him. No Mansion has it in the corner. Needs to find a pass. Cosmic finds yet another demo. No Mansion going to look for something. Nothing is there. It's 30 seconds remaining. Saints looking to find the winner. Yep, we got it back on the side of Illinois. Cosmic is up, looking to get something, maybe get a bump here. Just bumps fastball. Now we go Mansion. Oh. Sadly, on the back of the four, didn't get anything. Shuffle first to get it out. Cosmic, zero boost, trying to get it back on their side, but Jazzy is just there to get it back on the side of St. Illinois. Now Cosmic, hopefully defending. Got it to one defense. Oh. Got a bump out there. And we're looking like an overtime here, unless Jazzy can make something happen. He's up. But then, sadly, we're on overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Game one going into overtime. Illinois State did a great job of getting back into this game, but they have a chance here in overtime. The Saints to close this one out early. Jazzy with a nice bump. There is anyone to follow up. It's going to be almost shuffle finding that one. But now Saints going to look to reset. They have a lot more boost than Illinois State to start this overtime. And Jazzy flying through. Cosmic will be there with the save. The follow up from Fabso is not there. CG finds the save. One more shot. Maybe coming in from shuffle. No, won't be there. Illinois withstand the initial pressure, but still the Saints keep on pushing. Cosmic finds a nice clearance there as we look. It looks like Illinois State have withstood the initial huge push from the Saints. Yeah, and we're starting to see some whiffs coming out. We're starting to see some missed flips, and I think this is where the pace of the game is starting to slow down a little bit. But on the side of the Saints, we're still speeding up. We got CG on the side. To Cosmic, Cosmic banging it out to the side of the Saints, where Shuffle is going to block it. Hopefully get it around No Mansion. Sadly did. No Mansion to block it out. Jazz He's there, coming back on the side of Illinois. CG is there, hopefully to get it. Now we're coming back on the side of the Saints where Cosmic has banged it out. No mansion, looking for something. It's gonna be CG trying to set up a teammate. But Jazzy is there with the defense, takes around his defender there. No mansion, gonna get it back into the middle, but nobody from Illinois State is there to defend that one. There's gonna be a one for one demo coming through. Saints are gonna be on the attack here. Fab, so with all the room, looks for the pass instead of the shot there. Nice read there, another shot on target. Cosmic is there for the save. Saints doing everything they can to get this ball on the net, but Illinois State University refuse to allow it to go in. A minute 30 into this overtime, all Saints are doing are putting on the pressure, putting on the pressure. There's another pass to Shuffle, pass it back. Can Saints get a shot off target? Yes, they do. Fabso gets the game winner there after all the pressure. Finally, Saints a breakthrough. Nice pass from Shuffle and Fabso gets the easy finish. Cosmic just not in time. St. Clair, the green team, takes game one. Beautifully played by the two there. I think that was amazing from Shuffle and Fabzo because we thought that it looked, at least from my perspective, that Shuffle was going to go for the double tap off of the ceiling there, but he didn't. He went for the pass for Fabzo because he knew Cosmic was expecting that. Cosmic was expecting him to come from the back of the wall to dunk it in, but Shuffle didn't. He passed it out to Fabzo to give Fabzo some space, and he had the boost, and he made the play. Great play there from the Saints. I mean, it was such a close game one, and now the momentum definitely in the Saints' favor. They're going to look to close the series out to all, but Illinois State University are not going down without a fight. They put on a great performance in that match as well. Luckily for us, the Saints were victorious, and now we are getting underway in game two. Absolutely. I'm excited to see what Illinois has after this. Backs against the wall. One game until they lose. Let's see what Cosmic, CG, and No Mansion have in store for us today. Yeah, they're going to look to start off hot Cosmic, looking for something, hits it backwards, no mansion, takes around one defender, takes around the second, but it's not on target. It's a bit of an overcommit here from Illinois State University, can the Saints break quickly? Shuffle will take it himself, mid look for a pass to a teammate, but it's cleared out by CG. 
CG's got to get it around one. He got it around Shuffle, but didn't get it around Jazzy. No mention up. Fabzo is up as well. Oh, Cosmic was almost there to follow it up. It looked like it was going to be a fake on the side of CG. But CG's back up there. Zero boost. Maybe cause some panic. But Fabzo is up there. Hopefully to get it out of their side. But we got no mansion there to block him out. And CG to follow this up. Close pinch. Sadly not. Jazzy got a demoed on. Fabzo banging it out to the side of Illinois. Hopefully to get some momentum back on their side. Clearance comes through from Illinois State University. They just haven't found anything as of late. No really dangerous chances where Saints look like they could be in trouble, but now could be the case. Nice demo there from Cosmic, but nice defense from Shuffle, making sure nothing more was able there. No mansion gets around his defender, though. Can he find a pass to the middle? He does, but there's nobody from his team to follow up. That was definitely a big chance for ISU. They just didn't believe in him getting through those two players, and they backed up for the defensive defense. Cosmic could have gotten that play, but I don't think he was confident confident enough in it and I don't think it was there was communication between the team members to say okay it's a free net you got this but now we're seeing it coming back on the side of Illinois Shuffleverse has got almost free net no mansion blocking him out now we got Cosmic up he's got some boost to play with maybe he's got a play to make here Fabzo gonna block him out uh, let's see Shuffleverse to follow it up Cosmic's gonna be the next guy hopefully take it into his corner take it up take it down to the side of the Saints where Jazzy was there to try and get it out. Shuffle is the one there to bounce it up. No mansion there. Shuffle, again, trying to get it out here on zero boost. And now we got CG up there. And then Fabzo playing a little save. Jazzy, hopefully get it out. And we're going to see a little bit of Cosmic up. Sadly, Shuffle first beat him to it. Now Jazzy's coming up. Hopefully with a double tap. Sadly, CJ got there. Now Cosmic's up, and we're seeing a lot of demos come through, and we're seeing a lot of plays. Jazzy, hopefully up for the goal. CJ just blocked it out. Yeah, that was a good chance there for the Saints. Halfway through this game, too, no goals just yet. Very different feel from what it was in game one. We had three goals in the first minute. I think both teams realize they have to play more fundamental Rocket League and just hope for a mistake from the opposing side. Two minutes to go, no goals. Who's gonna be the first one to get it? It looks like it was gonna be Illinois State University, but a beautiful save there from Jazzy gets and Fab, so they are able to keep the score at zero apiece. Finally, a huge chance for ISU, but great defense from the Saints. A lot of demos coming on the side of the, uh, Illinois, hopefully to get that goal, but sadly didn't. Now we're back on their side. Cosmic's got the ball. Fabzo just blocking it out. No mansion to follow it up. He's coming into the corner. Jazzy blocking him out. Okay, hopefully just to touch it. Fabso's there to follow up. Get the goal, hopefully oh. just off the corner, sadly. But Jazzy's there to follow it up. Looking for a goal, looking for a flip. Nope, he's playing it low. Got past one, sadly That's not it. past the other. But Fabzo just on the top. And the Shuffle, hopefully there to play, make something happen. He's gonna bounce it out. Oh, it's close up. Yeah, and we got a goal on the side of Illinois to start out the game. That was a good goal from ISU on the counter-attack. Shuffle misses that one, and that proves to be pivotal. Saints go down 1-0. Illinois State University, though, playing some good defense, getting a bit of luck as well. Very close chances there for the Saints. They maybe would be putting in 10 out of 10 times, but just that one time didn't go in. And now that's a shot on target right off the crossbar. Could have been a second one for Illinois State. Luckily for the Saints, just a little bit too high. A minute left on the clock. This is when the nerves start getting in, ladies and gentlemen. This is when St. Clair's got to start thinking, how are they getting through Illinois? How are they getting those goals? How are they getting over those people? And how are they managing that boost? we got no mansion coming up, over shuffle, follow it up. Close, but blocked out by the Saints. Shuffle followed up. We got Fabzo there with boost. Sadly got but knocked out. But Shuffle, he's on the side of Illinois with some boost to play with. Sadly, can't make anything happen on that side. And Jazzy there to follow it up, but Cosmic's out there to bang it out. Fabzo got the bump, but now Mungo Mansion is taking it up the field. 30 seconds to go, and it's the ISU that's going to be on the attack. Not something you want to see if you're a fan of the Saints, Jazzy. Looks to clear that one out. Shuffle will be there to take it up, but no mansion will easily control this one. And all the ISU needs to do is just control the ball for the rest of time here. But one final attack coming up from the Saints. Nice pass to Shuffle. It's a shot right off the crossbar. Another chance for the Saints. One second left. Can they find the goal? No, they cannot. Such a close game, but ISU come out victorious as we're going to yet another all-decisive game three.
Beautifully played by ISU. That was an amazing match to watch. It was a close match, and honestly, against the close matches or the matches where we get a lot of goals in, I like to see those close matches. Those matches that are just determined by one goal because the pressure rises and the stakes are high. That's when the game gets at its best and that's when Rocket League shines. Yeah, absolutely. I have to agree with you there. It was such a tense game. So many moments where the ball was so close to going in the net for both sides. And in the end, ISU just came out on top. So now we're all decisive. Game three, game one went to overtime. Game two only had one goal. I mean, it's going to be a very, very intense game through here. Do you think our Saints are going to get it done? I'm confident in the Saints. I'm confident in the boys to pull through on a win here. But I see who's going into this with some momentum. And I think that they've got some stuff that's backing them up that they can win this next game. I'm not betting against the Saints here, but I'm saying the Saints have got a hurdle to pass over if they want to close this out. Yeah, I mean, ISU has been playing tremendously so far in this series. And if they want to win game three, they have to keep that same recipe. But I feel like if it goes how it went in game two, the amount of chances that the Saints had to just miss the net, I think if they get these chances again in this game, it's going to be a rough outing for ISU. Absolutely. And here we're starting now with our last game. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see who can pull it through, Illinois or St. Clair. And we've got CG up there to follow the ball. Shuffle just missed it. Jazzy just missed it. No mention in CG there. Cosmic to follow it up. We've got the 100 boost, hopefully, but Fabso bangs it out. Now we've got Shuffle there, makes something happen. No mention is up there. Shuffle just small oh. tap, and Fabzo, the goal, ladies and gentlemen, to start out the game. A very quick goal for the Saints here. No mention, having a bit of a misplay here, expecting to get a touch on that one. Fabzo wide open in the penalty area there. Gets of the goal. It's a beautiful start for the Saints green side. Absolutely beautiful play to start them out. And I think this is going to contribute to their confidence and their momentum going into the rest of the game. With four minutes and 30 seconds left. We got Jazzy up there, hopefully to make something that it doesn't. Now it's coming back on the side of Fabzo. He's taking it up the wall. But Mansion is there. Now, Shuffle oh, versus the bumps. there. CJ, a lot of bumps coming out there. Cosmic, zero boost, hoping to follow it up. Fabzo, take it out. And hopefully, oh, we're on the side of Cosmic, passing it down to a teammate for the goal. Oh, and no mansion equalizes goal. the score. What a beautiful goal there. No mansion came flying out of nowhere and got so much pace on this shot. Shuffle were so close, but it was just perfect placement from Illinois State University. Just like that, we're tied up at one apiece. It's looking like a good game, ladies and gentlemen. Tied up, got a lot of game left to play. Bump, Jazzy's demoed. DJ, follow it. CG sadly gets the goal. I don't know what happened on the side of Saints. That just looked so easy for CG. I know there was a bump coming in on Shuffle, I believe. No, there wasn't. Just missed it straight up. And Fabso and Jazzy don't do enough to stop that one. And yet again, we see three goals in the first minute. This time, it's ISU who have the lead. I am also familiar with the backflip. Sad strategy. It doesn't work. Sadly, it happens. It's Rocket League. We're not perfect. But now, we're coming back on the side of the Saints. Fabzo to take it up in his quarter. Cosmic to challenge him. He's going to take it low. Hopefully, just about getting past Cosmic. Looking for a bump. Sadly, didn't get it. Jazzy to follow it up. CJ, shuffle to block it out. Yeah, I have to be careful here. The follow-up shot is coming through here off the crossbar. No mansion could have got a goal there. Cosmic with a shot on target. You see all Saints, all three of them standing on the goal line. They are petrified of this ISU attack. If they can get the ball on the other side of the field, they can give themselves a way better chance of coming back into this one. But ISU has definitely turned it up a notch here in these last few games. CG trying to take it out with a couple defenders. Oh my goodness, CG takes it around two all by himself. Beautiful play. Gets ISU the third goal of the game. Saints have a lot on their plate if they want to come back here. If you're an Illinois fan, ladies and gentlemen, you are happy. If you're a Saints fan right now, Saints have got to pull it back. Three to one, two goals down, three minutes left on the clock. Saints have got to pull something out of the back pocket, and Jazzy's looking to be the one to make it. Jazzy's up, a little bit of boost, making the play, a little flick. No mansion, sadly, it out. And Shuffle is up there to hopefully get something made. 
And these demos from ISU have been very, very good timing for them. Another danger opportunity, no mansion, nobody in the net. Oh, what a save from Jazzy flying in out of nowhere. I thought that was for certain going to be a goal. Yet again, the Saints have some heroics, but ISU are just completely putting on the pressure. They are all out attacking on the Saints here, and Saints can't get anything going their way. Just need to play hero defense here to stay in this one. Still plenty of time left to make the comeback. Cosmic, though, finds the pass to CG and you're seeing ISU just completely annihilating the Saints in this third game. Third goal for CG as he's putting the team on his back. This is not looking good on the side of the Saints, ladies and gentlemen. Three goals down with two minutes left. Half of the game remaining. They've got to make something happen here. The team's got to come together to get some goals, to get some team plays, and put themselves on that board. Yeah, Saints started off the series hot, but just can't get anything going on the offensive side as of late. They did start this game with an early goal, but ISU have just completely turned it up a notch. Hopefully our Saints, though, can come back. They have a couple minutes to do so, but it's going to be very, very hard against the defense of Izu. Absolutely. Coming back on the side of the Saints. Jazzy is there to take it to his corner. CG just passed him, just got past him. Back into the corner by No Mansion. Cosmic to follow it up, back into the corner. There's Shuffle trying to make something happen. He's going up for it again. Fakes it down to Jazzy. Maybe get a bump on the way. Jazzy's up with zero boost. And CG is there. Fabzo looking to get it. Just tops, tops it up. He's going to follow it up. Just misses it. And now we're back on the side where Jazzy's got to defend it. And he's popped it up. Pops it up to Fabso. Shuffle did find a demo. Finds another demo. Does he have a shot on target there? No, it does not. Fabso, though, might have an opportunity here. No defenders in the vicinity. Beautiful goal from Fabso, giving Saints a little bit of life. That light at the end of the tunnel is getting closer, ladies and gentlemen, with Fabzo there to take the game to 4-2. Only two goals down with a minute and almost 30 seconds remaining in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Still life here for the Saints, but an uphill battle, none of the less. It's going to be ISU getting good control on the kickoff, making sure the Saints cannot pull a quick one on them. Cosmic finds a demo. There's an opportunity here for the Saints. No mansion does find a touch. Another demo. ISU are just blowing the Saints up, literally and figuratively, as Cosmic looks for the goal. No mansion will be there for the follow-up. Nobody in the Saints goal they need a defender here quickly and there's gonna be shuffle but with a minute left Saints need to be the one attacking not ISU they desperately need to get one more goal to give themselves a fighting chance but it doesn't look like ISU won't even let the ball go into their own half yeah it's very very uh, on the side of St. Clair right now ISU is putting on some pressure but now we're on the side of ISU hopefully Fabzo makes something happen here he's in the air a little bit of boost pass it out to one of his teammates shuffle just pops it up Cosmic looking for that demo, no mansion to get the ball, shuffle to follow it up. Jazzy couldn't make anything happen. No mansion banging it out to the side of the Saints. And we're back over the side of the Saints where That's there's nobody in the net. And CG has made it five to two. A three-goal lead with 20 seconds left. Theo, I don't know how it's looking. I'm not too confident. Yeah, I mean that must be the nail in the coffin. You could definitely see the vision from the Saints there. They go all out attack, send all three members up front, and it just did not work out in the end. Their ISU have put on a beautiful performance, though. Can't not take anything away from them. Taking down a roster as strong as the Sinclair Saints Green is definitely a momentum boost. They will look to make their way deep into this tournament as the seconds tick down before it becomes official. But it's going to be ISU taking down the Saints green roster two games to one and they will be advancing in the lower bracket. It was a absolutely beautiful effort on the side of St. Clair. Sadly, they didn't make it, but congratulations to Illinois making that and getting that three goal lead. Honestly, astounding. Yeah, I mean, it was just a great performance for them. They just seemed way like they wanted to win way more. They were way more aggressive, taking all playing with just so much pace. Saints did not have a single second of downtime and ISU just kept the pressure on, kept the pressure on and they, they deservedly advanced. 
Absolutely. That was something ben absolutely great on the side of Illinois is they had that pressure and they had the boost to make that pressure. And on the side of Saints, it didn't look like they had a lot of composure. They weren't organized. They were double committing on some of their things. They were overextending to give them free goals and they were communicating on who was going to be back to defend it. We saw probably at least half of those goals on the side of Illinois were because of open nets because they didn't have anybody there to defend it. Yeah, I mean, it was just a great game from ISU Saints. Definitely going to have to learn a bit from that one. But we do still have one more Saints team, the gold roster. They are still in the tournament. So we're going to throw it to a quick break, but we'll be right back with our match.